Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Thursday market webcast. Okay, so we had the FOMC yesterday. Uh, they pushed it a little bit. Um, they, they ran it up in that 4407 area. It was down to 77 before, so really a 30 handle range day centered around 4400, and we're still centered around 4400. So it's about 850 Eastern time as I'm doing this. We're trading 4401. They took it. Um, they took it down uh, below the new uh, pre-FOMC price at 86.75 last night. Ended up taking it down to about 82. And then by the time we got into Europe Open, Europe went up there and they bought it. Took it back up to the 4400 area and we've just been kind of churning there ever since. What I've been saying uh, to the paid subscribers in the room the last couple of days is I'll be very curious today to see what kind of volatility and what kind of real interest we have in trading this tape today and tomorrow, going into the end of the month, going into another summer weekend, after the Fed, um, you know, after some of these unknowns have become known, unless you get a piece of news that really drives it in one direction or the other and gets people off their backsides to trade it, hanging around 4,400 the way we are, it's really just a, a gift wrapped invitation to consolidate for a couple more days up here. So my advice to you all of you is don't over trade it if it doesn't want to be traded. If the market doesn't want to be traded, then why do you want to trade it? When we make things exciting for ourselves because we're bored or we just happen to feel like trading because we're around, then we hyper trade, you take paper cuts or worse, and then, you know, it ends up, only ends up being exciting for you and not in a good way. So avoid that if you can. Um, maybe we get decent volatility today, but I think that's a lower probability outcome. And I think it's going to take something to drive it one way or the other. So if it wants to be boring for a couple of days into August, let it. Just let it. Um, you know, all of our metrics as far as days and weeks and months and things like that were made a long time ago in July. And if it wants to be boring, then, you know, we'll... Uh, We'll, we'll enjoy the day. Um, key areas, 82. You've got, you've got VWAP sitting at 95.75. Your hourly mid-band, let's go to the hourly chart. You see the new pre-FOMC price, 43.86.75. Hourly mid, basically 94. You can see here, they tried to take it below. This is your reaction low off the Fed yesterday. Um, and that two, this two o'clock hour, they've been basically, they, they, not basically, they have been, they've been trading inside of it ever since. So it's a little bit of a triangle and that could continue. If it's a wide enough triangle, then we will be able to get some handles, get some work done today. But if it narrows out, if it just flat lines here at 4,400, it's gonna be, you know, I don't wanna trade in a phone booth today. Um, so 94, hourly mid, daily pivot sitting just below. Uh, that 92, 93 area. Um, our proprietary moving average, five minute mid is all locked up at 4,400. Your opening price from yesterday's regular session was 4,401 quarter. So with the Fed thing, we've been everywhere and nowhere at all. We're right where we were yesterday morning when we talked. So take a step back, let this thing open up, see how it wants to trade, and then all of us as traders have to adapt to the environment that we're in. That should be your plan every day. You shouldn't walk in and say, all right, I'm gonna to trade today. I wanna to do this, I wanna do that. I'm Price dictates, the tape dictates how little or how much you do in a day and what you do in a day, not the other way around. So really be mindful of that today and practice that as we get into the regular session. All right, everybody have a fantastic day. Be safe, be healthy, take care. Trade them well, come check out the room, come learn how to do this stuff. Talk to you tomorrow. Follow us over on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, at Princeton Trader. Check us out on Facebook, and join us for a free trial at www.princetontrader.com. Trade them well.